So next one on the list is San Diego Padres, kind of an older style. Uh, they're navy and yellow. I like the uh, yellow UV. Uh, I got it primarily because of the side patch 2016 All Star game. That was a big year for me uh, as a Cubs fan. That I'm sure it had happened before. I feel like, but the entire starting infield for the National League All Star team. Or Cubs, Rizzo, Zobrist, Baez, Bryant. And then we wanted to win the World Series that year. Even though the AL won the All-Star game, and that gave Cleveland home field advantage when we were clearly the better team. We were the best team that year. We won the most games. I think we were one of like two or maybe three teams to win 100 games. And because of those rules, because they... Wanted to motivate t uh, players to play in the All-Star game. They changed the rules of whoever wins the All-Star game gets home field advantage for the World Series, but they've changed that since. But I think it's a good thing that it took seven games to win in Cleveland. Um, I think history worked out well that way. Now if, now, if you were to say that it would exactly happen the same way at... If it was reversed, that the Cubs would come back in seven games and went at Wrigley, I'd be okay with that. Speaking of the Cubs, City Connect 920 edition. I had been waiting over a, a few months when it originally came out to get the Dad Hat version of this. I do have the um, regular 1550 version of it, but I wanted the Dad Hat version because, you know, Dead hats are cool. Hat diversity. Dead hats are awesome. So, got it finally, and it's in the collection. So, I, I it's a great hat. It's simple with the um, the Chicago Star in the middle of the sea. Colors are great. <coughs> and from Toppers, then we could still get hats from Toppers. And this one was, I feel like, mint was like a big color this year because I you see it in this this Orioles hat. This one is pretty wild. I mean, now granted, it, during the winter time, I would not be wanting to wear this. In the summertime, this would be a good one. Peach UV, uh, nice colors, uh, just simple three colors of blue, peach, and mint. Um, the flag could it have been a different color, probably, but I think the tone was okay. Um, so yeah, this one was a pretty popular one for me in the summertime. Next up is a hat that I've been waiting years for. There's going to be another one of these in the collection later on, but for the moment, it's the Utah Stars WNBA Liz HD and collaboration with Made for the W 5050 Fit hat. Uh, for the first time that uh, being mass produced of WNBA fitted hats. I mean, I have had 19 WNBA hats beforehand, and now having three more hats, but also of his two of historical teams, Utah Stars, the uh, Sacramento Monarchs, and the New York Liberty, but I, as a current team, um, really special to have this kind of light shined on to the WNBA. And I am for sure that 90%, maybe 95% of the people who did buy a WNBA hat from this collection did not have a WNBA hat before, which is fine. I mean, I, you know, deserved all the hats because I, you know, actually pay attention and watch and support WNBA and, want to be more invested into it. Um, but hopefully this, get, getting these hats made and maybe more of them made brings better awareness to the WNBA. Um, I, I know a lot of hat collectors aren't in it for the sport, which is sad, but hopefully 
it helps bring more attention to the WNBA. So another topper's hat here, where this one was really cool. We'll see colors, navy and peach. I think this was a, I know I had another hat like this done, um, but I didn't have it with like the metallic kind of peach and uh, blue in the front and the uh, shiny uh, side patch. This one for the twins was really cool. I had to get it. It was, uh, it fit loose, even for a seven and a half. So I had to um, add a stuffer inside to make it work. But um, no, it's a great hat. Uh, wore it quite a bit throughout the year. So this part is going to be inserted somewhere in the 40s or 30s. But with this um, hat, it was in a box. It wasn't like in the rest of the uh, pile. So that's why it's left behind for a separate segment. <coughs> so, <clears throat> so this was a very special hat that I got. 47 brand. It is their 75th anniversary and they did these capsule hats for baseball. They started with MLB. And then they did um, basketball, NBA. And then they did college basketball. They did college football. They did NFL. They did NHL. I only got one of them. I wish I could got could got more, but these were seventy five dollars for these hats. Quite a bit, to be honest. Not exactly worth it unless it was just like the Chicago Cubs one here. So this one, they this is a hitch hat. Um, got stamps in the back. It's kind of like a dad hat with the crushable. Uh, front and this one has I mean Cubs is my, my number one team so it's Cubs across and they also did like Dodgers they did like they did only like four teams per capsule launch and Boston is where they're originated from so of course they always did Boston um, for the prof professional leagues so this is a rare hat I would say they only made 75 hats of each of the teams so it this makes it a lot more rarer than some of the other dad hats or fourth and brand hats that I would otherwise have. So fancy enough that it came in a box and very cool to have. And it's got like a thing on the inside that I can make a little display of it. But as long as it's in the box, it'll be fine. I know that it's the, uh, the special one. Yeah, 75 bucks. Wish, and you couldn't use point your the rewards for um, the hats, which sucked even more. So, uh, yep, I don't know what number this is on the list, but let's continue with the rest. And I'm gonna change my shirt automatically. It's gonna be magic. So this one had a whole fall pack to this hat. Uh, I mean, there's one more that you'll see that I got. There were plenty more that were out there that I didn't get to. Um, it is a very popular collection. And um, it was a very popular color from this year. That last year everyone had repanicked over the fall colors of a burnt orange that Hat Club did as a campfire hat idea in 2020 that I even passed on originally because burnt orange reminds me of Texas. And I hate Texas. University of Texas. The Longhorns, but it was brought back. I think the that Burdines did it the best this year. So I got their Braves, which the uh, the script, and then the Tomahawk below it. 30th anniversary of being in Atlanta. Side patch, green UV. But what was different with this one is that they made it two tone compared to the original Campfire, where it was just all one color. Both are good. I think this one is better. So I have another one of them that's coming up later that um, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure it's in my top 10. I, just, I could not take it off in the last few months that I had it of the year. All right, so I might be ending the video at this segment point, And if I am, then here's the last hat for the segment. And then I'll see you in the next video. If not, I don't know. 
Uh, I don't really have this all planned out too well, but... So, uh, next hats on the list. I don't know what number we're at. I'll put the number in the corner somewhere. Or maybe I won't. I'm just counting them down. Um, this one came from a, an assist from Spidey J from Johnton out in Buffalo uh, from the the New Era store. This one, you know I had to get. Really unique hook to it for sure. It's the Buffalo Bills and Josh Allen hat where it's the Bills logo in Wyoming colors where he went to school. And this, this was a great hat. Um, maybe I'm doing it dirty that I don't have it maybe higher in the list. Maybe, but this is like, this is where it starts to be a little more complicated with the, um, with like the ranking actually. Like you have to like actually pick. It's not like, oh, I like these ones. Well, how do you actually like them? It's like crap. So that's what I have for this hat here. Um, I, 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 to be honest, I probably should have put it higher, but eh, at least you know what's in the top 50-ish of my hats. So, yeah. So, again, if I'm breaking off the, this point here because I'm done with one stack of hats, I don't know if I'm going to break it into like like three videos, two videos, five videos, or however I'm going to do it. Um, here's like a breaking off point, just a transition. So I'll see you in the next video. And uh, keep your notifications uh, set for all the other finals week videos that are going to be coming out. So, yeah. Hats off to you as always for watching. I'll see you next time in class, everyone. Class is dismissed. Bye, everyone.